लेसन नंबर टू सो मेनी काइंड्स ऑफ एनिमल्स कैन यू टेल यू विल ईजिली रिकॉग्नाइज द एनिमल्स इन द पिक्चर टेल देयर नेम्स एंड ऑल्सो देयर स्पेशल फीचर्स can you tell name us animals that fly in the sky animals that live in water animals that are black animals that have many colors very large animals very tiny animals where will you find us an eagle flies i in the sky a cow walks on the ground fish swim in water we are of different colors the egret is white the crow is black the buffalo too is black but the peacock has many different colors we may be big we may be small the horse and the bullock are large in size the goat and the dog are of medium size the mouse and the squirrel are small the earthworm and the cockroach are smaller still gnats and ants are very tiny indeed animals uh, which animals run very fast which animals move very slowly we move in different ways a squirrel is a small animal it is nimble it climbs up a tree quickly and swiftly runs along its branch the elephant's body is bulky its legs are heavy the elephant cannot run at any great speed the deer has thin legs it runs very fast a frog's in legs are long so it can easily hop jump and leap why do we keep cows name some other animals that are useful to us why do we not like it if there are mice or bed bugs in our house you find us useful people love to keep animals the dog guards our house people like to keep cats too cows buffaloes and goats give us milk some people keep ants 
we get meat, milk and eggs from animals. Bullocks help with farm work. Itched to a cart, they can draw heavy burdens too. Horses and donkeys too are used to carry burdens. We look after the animals. We keep. We feed them. We take care of them when they are ill. The animals we keep become very dear to us. We, the gate crashers. Some animals enter our houses even though we don't want them. Mice and rats destroy stored grain beside nabbing other things in the house. Sometimes we find bed bugs in our house. They suck our blood. Spiders make cobwebs in the house. Mosquitoes, flies, gnats and cockroaches are a nuisance too. Even so, these troublesome animals too have an important place in nature. We have seen that animals around us can be grouped in different ways. We form these groups using our everyday observations. However, when scientists classify animals, they look at more important characteristics of animals. Let us see how they do it. We suckle our young. The young ones of animals like the cow, dog, goat and rat grow up on their mother's milk. These animals have four legs, they have hair on their body, they have external ears. We fly. Birds have only two legs, they have two wings to fly with. Their body is covered with feathers. There are differences in the flying ability of different birds. The eagle can soar high into the sky and stay in the air for a long time. But the cock does not fly high and comes down soon too. We live in water. There are many different kinds of fish. They live in the water. Fish have fins. They use their fins to move in water. There are scales on a fish's body. Do you know a fish eyes gills? Behind its eyes, fish use their gills to breathe in water. We creep and crawl. Chameleons, house lizards and snakes 
are animals that crawl they have scales on their bodies chameleons and owls lizards have four legs but these legs are very short the snake does not have any legs at all we are called insects butterflies have wings too but we don't call them birds they are insects they are smaller than birds besides they have six legs animals which have six legs are called insects so butterflies are insects mosquitoes owls flies and cockroaches are insects too do you know bats have wings but they don't have feathers on their body young ones of bats feed on their mother's milk bats are not birds like the crow sparrow parrot and cock they are included in the group of the cow tiger deer and mouse use your brain power into which of the following groups would you put the owl the monitor lizard gorpad and the cat groups cow dog and goat we circle our young crow sparrow parrot and cock we fly chameleon owl lizard and snake we we crawl this was all about a few animals we are familiar with but there are many more animals in the world there are a lot of differences in the colors shapes and sizes of animals there are differences in the ways they move and the places they live in these differences that we see among animals give rise to a lot of variety in animals the number of animals that live in the sea is also very large there is great variety among them too it is very interesting to learn about all such animals do try to find out more about them when you are older what we have learned different animals are found in the air on the ground and in water there are differences in the colors shapes and sizes of animals and also in the ways they move we find some animals useful we keep such animals some animals are a nuisance for us scientists classify animals according to certain important characteristics always remember variety is the rule in nature thank you